Uh, I did say that uh, Maltov was deaf. Uh, actually, Maltov and Bruce are both deaf. Um, it turns out it's a very common thing in ferrets. Generally, rule of thumb is um, if you have a ferret that has a white head, you got a deaf ferret. White head. Like this. White. White head. Oh, the kisses. But yeah, like I said, they are very affectionate. They do the kisses. They do the kisses. They're so cute. They're so cute. Um, there is something particularly awesome about ferrets, which is, uh, I think it's commonly known as the weasel war dance. It's basically where they get so excited and they just get so full of energy and so excited that they have kind of convulsions and they hop around and they... It's hilarious. teaching the dog tricks like we didn't manage to teach our teach ours any, and it really is tough on the deaf ones oh one thing you will see toys in like the pet stores and whatnot absolutely worthless there is no point uh, ferrets will play with anything <laughs> Anything that makes a noise or just is they haven't seen. Uh, blankets, sweatshirts, grocery bags. Grocery bags are a big one. Um, and then also each ferret can have its own individual little quirks like Andre loves anything that's silicone rubber and we've got all kinds of things, cell phone covers, uh, Wiimote covers, uh, a lot of the dog's toys are hidden in places that we'll probably never find them because of this guy right here. He loves them, he loves to chew on them. This guy also goes crazy for squeak toys. I'll try and get some footage of that. I don't have any yet. But he does love us. He just pretends he doesn't. Don't try. Don't try. Um, oh, and about the deaf ferrets, like, it doesn't really 
harm them. They're, you know, they act just like any other ferret. The thing is, ferrets love to go find little cubby holes to sleep in. This is where the ferrets go when they want to hide from us. And then we have to wait for them to come out. It's not so good. So when a deaf ferret finds a little cubby hole to sleep in, you have to wait for it to wake up because it's not cut. You can't call it, or you know, shaking a food bag isn't going to get it to come out. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Also, for some reason all ferrets have a foot fetish. They love shoes. Uh, they love socks. Um, I don't have one of these guys that don't want to hide shoes. Uh, it's pretty bad actually, so that's something to keep in mind. This is my shoe, because they try to get it under the deck. My other shoe, that we are trying to get it under the deck. I've got those happy feet. Give them a low down feet. And they begin to be I've got those ten little tap and toes. And when they hear a tune, I can't control the dancing heels. Save my soul, weary blue. Can't get into my shoes. Because my shoes refuse to ever go with me. I keep cheerful on the miracle of music free. No! But basically, I'm just saying, you know, ferrets are a lot of work, but they're a lot of reward. So much fun. Um, Ten is an unmanageable amount of ferrets. I can see where that room, that house would be fun to be in, but I would never ever want that many. Um, ferrets do have a uh, distinct odor. Uh, it's because in the wild they can spray like skunks. Um, any ferret you buy legally in America is going to have that organ removed, though. So, but they still have a musk. Now, I've had ferrets for so long I don't even smell it, but other people do. One nice thing though, you can go to most retail pet stores and get some, uh, something called Bi Odor. Um, you put it in the ferret's water, seriously, it actually works. It makes their stink go away. Um, it's like $13 a bottle, it lasts you quite a while, especially if you've only got two ferrets, as I was suggesting. Um, so, like, if the smell, if you do end up hating the smell, you can get bi-odor and you're good to go. 